Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It's a happy day. You know why? <laughs> it's Friday. You got that right. It it's is Friday. Friday. That's right. He had me laughing before we started the show, <laughs> so he had to open because I was laughing too hard. Anyway, yeah. we do. We have a great show lined up. Guess what? We are talking all about music, beach music, and some local bands around the area. I oh, can't man. wait. Oh, man. We got somebody from the Shakers here. Uh, you know, Dino and Molly from Sea right. Cruise. We got Tim Clark here. And we got True, True Soul. Soul. That's right. All that's coming up today. All right, but first, let's check out our weather. It is Friday, and we are going to see some nicer conditions behind that front that brought the rain the past two days. Beautiful start to the day from our Merle's and the Marshwalk camera. Temperatures are starting to warm into the low to mid 80s everywhere at this hour, but by the afternoon, temperatures warm to the mid 80s for the immediate coast, mid to upper 80s across the PD and on the border belt, with very low rain chances for much of your Friday. So let's time it out for you here on Futurecast. So here we are at noon, not seeing any rain right now, but a few showers and storms will pop up mainly in coastal Oregon, Georgetown counties as we head through the rest of the afternoon. A few of those will spread into western portions of those same counties. However, rain will really be few and far between. So high school football plans for this evening are a go. Switching gears to the tropics now as of 11 a.m. Hurricane Harvey still a category two storm is still expected to make landfall in the Texas coast late today or early tomorrow as a category three major hurricane. This will be the first major hurricane to hit the United States in almost 12 years since Wilma in 2005, bringing catastrophic life threatening rainfall for much of the Texas coast as it is going to get wedged behind a front and because of that it's going to meander along the coast for a few days. How about rainfall amounts? 15 to 25 inches of rain possible for parts of the Texas coast with isolated amounts up to 35 inches of rain. So this is dangerous, life-threatening flooding for some of those areas in Texas and southwest Louisiana. Now closer to home, we are not going to see any impacts from Hurricane Harvey, but we are still watching this tropical wave off the west coast of Florida. It is expected to move into the western Atlantic as we head through the early and middle part of next week. Now as it does, it could become a tropical depression or tropical storm. But that front that brought the rain the past two days that's lingering just south of our area now is going to pick that system up and push it out to sea. Our only threats, higher surf, higher wind offshore and the potential for some higher rip current risk. So those are the only threats we are going to see if that system was to form. So the next seven days for the Grand Train, not looking too bad. Here's your next seven days. So for today, slim chance of a shower or storm, lower humidity. That'll continue through the weekend thanks to that front sitting just to our south. Now rain chances do ramp up just a bit as we head through the early and middle part of next week, but temperatures will stay mainly in the mid 80s. Now across the PD and on the border belt, lower humidity as well as we head into the weekend. Temperatures only in the mid to upper 80s. By Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, also going to see slightly increasing rain chances, but no 90s in sight. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. Hey guys, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. A few things to talk about before we get rolling with the jam. That's today. right. All right, Guess now we're what? talking about Volkswagen of Florence. Oh, Volkswagen. I'm sorry. You can do oh. that one. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, go yeah. ahead. There it is. Wait, there it is. Volkswagen of Florence right down there on Coit Street in Florence. They've got a great selection of vehicles. Right now, I'm driving the 2017 Volkswagen Touareg. It is the Wolfsburg edition, and I'm telling you, we absolutely love it. It's a great midsize SUV, one of the safest cars on the market, perfect for my family. But if you need a little bit bigger SUV, a third row, we're talking about the 2018 Atlas that is out. I don't even think they can keep them on the lot. Go down to Coit Street in Florence right there and check it out. Mike Rickenbaugh, 
Volkswagen of Florence. Great team of guys. They'll take wonderful care of you. Yes, sir, they will. I'm talking about Saturday Night Lights. I mean, the Thursday Night Lights last night. The football yeah. Game. Unbelievable. I watched it, and I was really interested. It was, All the instant it replays? And, I know yeah. it showed everything. Instant Very replay. cool. And, and it came yeah. down to the last second, they said. Uh, it was the unbelievable. Game. Close game. Very All cool. right, let's find out where we're going to. Tomorrow, we're heading to Texas Roadhouse. That's right. We're getting ready for our cruise in, in the morning. Uh, it's a free show open to all makes and model cars and trucks. The music starts at 11 and goes up to 2 o'clock. And we'll be handing out five trophies. And guess what? Less humidity, about 83 degrees tomorrow. The public is invited to come out and check out all the old cars and trucks. It's going to be a lot of fun. You guys Good have, food down there, too. Yeah, you guys always have a great turnout. Yeah, well, I mean, what, is, 60, 70, yeah, 80 cars? At least. Sometimes we've had over 100. Wow. Nice looking cars. All right. There's a, a nice red truck. Is yeah, it going to be out there? That's a red truck. I got a red truck. I'm going to sell it. I'll let somebody buy it tomorrow. There's a plug for it. If you want Cecil's <laughs> truck, we'll even sign it for you. That's right. All right. Today's Friday, August 23rd. And this is Kiss and Makeup Day. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And it's also. What time? No, no, no. What's the date? August 20. August 25th. What'd I say? Third. But isn't it the 26th? No. Nope, day's 25th. Okay. Well, you know, there's live TV for you. <laughs> What in the world That's is she right. talking about? I, I, I All right, it's your turn. Anyway, but guess what it is? It's National Toilet Paper Day. So there you go. A little fun fact for you. Yeah. On a roll, the first time that it was sold like this was August 26th, 19, or excuse me, 1871. So technically yeah. tomorrow yeah. is National Toilet Paper Day. But did you know before that they used a Sears and Roebuck catalog? I can't. I'm not kidding. That's really okay. what they use. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's check out birthdays today. Larry is. I'm talking about 1930. Sean Connery, and he's got to be the best James Bond. Movies he did, also did Untouchables, Indiana Jones, and before fame, listen to this. The man was a milk truck driver and a bodybuilder. How, How about that? that? Bodybuilder for sure. Absolutely. 1949, Gene Simmons, 68 years old. There he is. The rock band Kiss sold over 100 million and he um, was the assistant editor to Vogue magazine before fame. All right. Achy breaky heart time, ladies and gentlemen. It's 1961. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus is born. He's 56 years old now. And, of course, Achy breaky heart went to number one in 1992. And he was also in the TV series Doc from 2001 to 2004. Now he does a series about where he's playing Elvis. All right, so. today in history, let's talk about it. Go back to 1975, Bruce Springsteen, love Bruce Springsteen. His album Born to Run was released. All right, 1992 is reported by researchers that cigarette smoking significantly increases the risk of developing, developing cataracts. What about the cancer? Really? Oh, I don't know. All right, internet. let's find That's out from the know-it-all department yeah. now. <laughs> this is where you learn something every day on this show. And, and all right. To me, a cloud appears to be light. You know, when you look up at a sky, you say, oh, man, that's beautiful cloud, light. How much do you think a single cloud weighs? Anybody? It can weigh up to how yeah, much? Yeah, how much? What do you guys think? 10 pounds. He says 10 tons. A ton. A pound. Ton. Listen to this. One million pounds Whoa. for a cloud. Hey, I bet, you know what? I can bet you? our meteorologist knew that. I know it. She Would probably you? knew all I mean, all the meteorologists, they always know everything. <laughs> Wow. All right. All right. That's from the know it all department. My, my producer's talking to me. He's making Y'all, it's a Friday. That's if it. You can't, if you can't tell. But hold on a second. We've done some Where Are You pictures. We've done the Where yeah, in the World as Amanda right. and Cecil. Here are some of the ones we've gotten in. What we want you to do, that's on our Facebook page. Go on, print it off, take it with you wherever you go. There. That's the new John Jenrette book yeah. that has been written. They'll be on the show next week. And there's Price and Lane Burroughs. They went out to Pirates Voyage and they sent us that picture. All and, right, oh, where that's are we from uh, the Republic of Theater down there. Tim, yep, Tim McGee, Tim McGee sent, sent that. that in. Russell and Karen down at Russell's Raw Bar. I'll be there tonight. Yes, Let's I see. will. Yeah, there he is, and Donnie Gerald. Do Donnie Gerald over there in Marion sent that in. Thanks a lot, Donnie. Thanks. So that's that's kind of what we want you yeah. guys to do. Go on, take that picture, take it with you when you go out to dinner, or if yeah. you go out of town, we want to see where we travel yeah. each week. We've Whatever got a, you do. That's right. We've got a great show lined up. We'll be back.
And welcome back. It's Beach Music Day. And let me tell you, this group's been together since 2001. They started. We're talking about Sea Cruise, Molly and Dino here with us. And uh, they do a lot of beach music. They sure do. And you guys, I've been listening to them since I was a teenager working at Creek Rats. I, I mean, it's so much fun. That you guys is been, right. That makes me feel so old. Well, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. But I'm not that old. So yeah. hold on, hold on. But what I'm saying is, you guys, do, you, it's, you're like a staple around here. Everybody loves you. Everybody knows you. So yeah. tell us a little bit about Sea Cruise for people maybe that are watching that don't know yeah. what you guys do. Go ahead, Molly. Well, Molly. We, are, we are a fun duo. Uh, we've transformed throughout the years, but um, we're just a great family band. We yeah. love to have a good time. We're locals. Um, we have been performing in the Grand Strand area yeah, for 16 years yeah. now, and uh, we just really like to have a good time, play a variety of music, yeah. we do weddings, parties. Saturday night, we'll be at the uh, Grand Strand Pride Business Expo and Gala Fantastic. at the Grand Dunes, mm -hmm. and we're right. at Creek Rats every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, yeah. All right, now Butch sings with y'all once in a while, doesn't he still sing Every once in a while, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good. He will, he'll be with us uh, this Saturday night. This Saturday night, mm -hmm. okay. All right, now, you know, you got to love beach music. I mean, Dino, you've been doing it for a while man. now. What, 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 if you had to think of your favorite beach music song, what would it be? Green Eyes. Gre Ooh, the Ravens. Yeah, that's, that's a good it. song. All right, I Molly. love it. Molly, you got one? Your favorite beach music song? Um, yes, I would have to say Miss Grace. Yeah. The Times. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. song, good yeah. song. Well, that's yeah. great. All right, so y'all going to be at Creek Rats every Wednesday night. Every, every Wednesday. Wednesday night. What, what time y'all start? Yeah, time six o'clock, six to nine. Six to nine. Mm -hmm. All right, Fantastic. so get something to eat and listen yeah. to a little bit of beach music. And now y'all do other stuff, too. Y'all do. Absolutely. Tell us what else y'all do, some other kind of music. No, we, go in, we, we, we go from Etta James, Etta James to Donna Summer to... Uh, uh, journey to we do it all so, so somebody all? kind of you know if they hired you out for a party and they kind of requested a certain thing you could pretty much meet their needs pretty much yes yeah. we are yeah, a variety yeah. band yeah definitely yeah. y'all can do uptown funk too i know y'all do that one. oh absolutely absolutely <laughs> you know he's a great bruno mars <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know working in a, in a resort area like yeah. this you have to be able to play it all that's where it, that's yep. it is exactly absolutely yeah. well thank, well, thank you for being with ahead. us Oh, it's a pleasure. pleasure. Looking pleasure. forward to seeing you guys. I want to say guys. hi to all of our friends and fans there, here there, in Myrtle Beach. We love you guys. Thank you. All right. Absolutely. All right, Thanks, we got guys. more coming up. Stay with us. It's yeah. Beach Music Day. We'll be right back. A lot. Papa. 15 yeah. years later from that, probably. 42. Yeah.
Hey guys, welcome back to Carolina and Company Alive. Right now, today we are talking about music and not only music, beach music. I mean, a favorite in this area. You can't come to the beach without hearing beach music. That's right, Tim Clark Band. The man has more energy than the little bunny that goes around in that battery. <laughs> if you've ever seen his show, he is wild. He's been, he does, they do everything. Beach, 70s, 80s, 90s. And uh, today it's good to have you back, Timmy. It's good to be here with you. Now tell them, you didn't really start music first. Tell them what you did before that comedy well yeah I actually was in music and then I went to uh, Dixie Stampede yeah. and you and I used to do shows at Early like morning. five o'clock in the morning <laughs> and then in one year he said you know we're gonna take this thing I said thank you I really appreciate that <laughs> it's about time yeah, yeah we uh I've been around almost as long as Cecil not quite not quite as long <laughs> now what do you play you got any re normal pl I mean places that you play every we play week on or Main something? Street North Myrtle Beach uh, a lot yeah. Um, I just did Campbell University last night. Okay, here we are here. We I'm not sure right where there. this is. You sit. That's Main Street, North That's Myrtle Main Beach. Main Street, North Myrtle Beach with a new yeah. stage and everything. Look at them jamming out. Wow. Now, where were you last night, you said? Campbell University. All right. Yeah, they awesome. were back in school one day. And had to party. And had to spend the uh, government's money. I love it. <laughs> All right, now this group, you have three, 4,000 people come out for these things in North Myrtle Beach. Yeah, I tell you what, the city of North Myrtle Beach does a great job with this. Uh, I know all my buddies that are here today play there. True Soul, of course, Fantastic sh Shakers. You're going to have Freddie on later. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's just a fantastic uh, place to play up there. It is. North Myrtle Beach, that's a great little community. It, it, I mean, it, it really it, is. It's and they community. are all about the music. That is true. Which is great. That is. All right, I've got to ask you this. I asked uh, Molly them. If you had to name a favorite beach music song, what would be your favorite song? You know, I'm really into... Uh, this new guy, Mayor Hawthorne, he's yeah. a young guy yeah. that's doing the old school sound. Right. Uh, we do a couple of his songs, but the one I like a lot is The Walk. And I just saw the other day, it's now the theme song for Blue Moon. It is. Look it is. That. So I said, hey, that's we got a we got a win win there. Where are you going All this right. week? Anywhere this week on a play? Uh, real quick? Tonight I am going to be at Motos, and then Saturday I'm going to be Merle's Inlet at Wahoo's. Wahoo! All right. Awesome. Timmy, always a pleasure, Thanks my friend. Great to see you. Thank you we so much. It's better to see us. her. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, coming up next, True Salt. And welcome back. It's Beach Music Day, and coming up right now, True Soul. They've been together, I think, since 2004. Is yeah. that right, what y'all told me? Uh -huh. All right. We got Sharita and Bishop on the show. Yeah, yeah. sure. They're brother, they're brother and sisters. Isn't that yeah. sweet? Isn't that cool? In -law. In -law. It, 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 that's right. In-laws, yes. It's, In -law, it's definitely okay. a family affair, and you guys have kind of brought that to the scene the whole time you've been um, performing along the Grand Strand, mm -hmm. which I think is the coolest part of the whole thing. You're a very tight-knit group. So, yeah. first of all, tell us about True Soul. You guys do some beach music, but you do a lot of other stuff as well. Yeah, like we have a lot of bands around here that specialize and do a great job in, with the beach music, so we have to like, you know, spread the genre out. So Yes, and you definitely do a good job of that. Now, vocalist and then Bishop Hugh. Vocalist and bassist. There we go, look there at them. They they're right jamming. Here. 
If you're looking for a party band, if you're looking for a party, <laughs> you call True Soul. Absolutely. Well, um, yeah. you guys this weekend are, you doing a private party this weekend? Yes. Yeah, yeah private party this weekend. But normally we play at places like Hard Rock. Our next public show coming up is going to be, uh, what, September 22nd down at Fats at the Warehouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we do, we do our anniversary show every year. This year is going to be at the House of Blues. Hey, that's, that's cool. That's awesome. Now, the night before Thanksgiving. Night before. Yeah, and I saw oh, y'all. That's perfect for see, people saw, coming in town. Exactly. I see y'all were doing the food show. I think it was last year, the last time I saw y'all. The food show. Yeah. Yep, the food show right downtown. It was a big event. Yes. There was a heck of a crowd there, and they rocked, too. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. We, used to, we used to go out and dance the night away. True song. Dance I'm the night let, away. Me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, but people want to, do they need to buy tickets for this House of Blues anniversary show? How does that work? Um, yes, the tickets will be available at the box office, and I think they're going to sell sometime to the end of September or so. All right, oh, that okay. should be a really right. fun event. All right. Yes. All right, we're talking beach music and other music, too. What's your favorite beach music song? I would have to give a shout out to the Carolina Girls. There so we I would go. Say Carolina Girl. That's good. That's good. All right. I Bishop. would have to say Shaggin' on the Boulevard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yes. Good. Like oh, Shaggin gosh. Unbelievable. That was filmed down in Myrtle Beach, the video. <laughs> yeah. And a friend of mine, the freaking Deacon, was the bartender that well, day. Well, how about that? How about that? That was All something right. else. He was a Deacon? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys definitely, if you want to book a great party band, definitely go right there, www.truesoulband.com. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's an awesome time. Thank you guys yeah. for being with Thanks us. Don't forget. Thanks for having us. Tell all your fans you'll be back on at 10 o'clock tonight on the CW21. You get to see it again. Okay? Yeah, that's yes. right. Y'all can wave goodbye. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Freddie's here from the Shakers. That's coming up next. Hey guys, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live, talking today about beach music. All right, right now we've got Freddie with us from the fantastic Shakers. You got that right. I'm talking about beach music all up and down the coast, and it's going all over the country now because they have a, uh, on Sirius Radio, yeah. they have beach music now. Channel 4. Oh, that's right, on your, they that's announced a, today, permanent. That, they say permanent, I didn't yeah, hear that. I've heard that's the announcement wow. I heard this morning. Yeah. That's fantastic. good. Yeah. Well, Freddie, you've been doing beach music how long now with the Fantastic Shakers? Uh, I've been there since the mid-80s. Shakers been together since 1978. Can you believe it's almost been 40 years since Myrtle Beach days? Can you wow, believe that? that? I hadn't thought about it that way. Yeah. 
That was I, a big I one. have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Myrtle Beach Days. Man, that was, that was a great song. That's a great song. Well, the Chamber's got a lot of mileage out of it. Yeah, they, <laughs> they have. still use they have. a lot of their promos. So it's, it's been a great run, great history. It's still going strong. All right, now where are you playing anywhere soon? Where you uh, well, I'm playing up in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina tonight, then a wedding up in Eastern North Carolina. But we got lots of things coming up in the Grand Strand and the PD area. Uh, September 1st at the Galleon for a big weekend celebration kicking off. September tonight, uh, Lake City, South Carolina Tobacco yeah. Festival. And then, of course, we have four times over SOS down here at the Galleon, right. uh, the Deckers, and uh, Fat Harold's. And I did want to give a shout out October 7th, Myrtle Beach Seafood Festival. That's going to be good. Right, now, where, is this, where is this at, Freddie? Where are y'all playing here? Uh, this was uh, Goldsboro, North Carolina, just a couple weeks ago. I liked the video, so uh, the, uh, I got a hold of that and sent it on to you. Fantastic. So, That's awesome. yeah. Fantastic. You hear me keep yeah, saying that? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, I fantastic. Hear that. That was, <laughs> now, <laughs> the man on lead just then, tell him who. Both Both Ronts, Ronts. That's founded right. Founded a group. Founded a group and uh, still sings. We do everything from the drifters to the shakers to stepping wolf with just oh. Timberlake in between. We do whatever, <laughs> whatever we, they want to hear. Y'all can do it. We, we'll great. throw it. We'll throw. We'll throw a, a sh give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I got to ask. I got to ask everybody else. What's your favorite beach music song? Uh, other than uh, Myrtle Beach Days and yeah. Shaking the Shack, Shaker yeah. song, uh, my favorite is Come Get to This, Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Oh, that's a great song. Great yeah. dance song. It must have been good. What's his name? Use the rhythm for it. Oh, yeah. L.J. Reynolds. <laughs> L.J. Yeah. Reynolds. That's a good version. Though, it dude. is. Thank you so much. Thanks we for appreciate being with it. Us. Thank okay. you for having me. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> it's uh, tomorrow's National Toilet Paper Day. That's she right. had the wrong date on it. I'm sorry. Uh, All right, yeah. we've had a great time today. Don't forget the weekend Monday. It continued with Beach Music Day. A lot of great stuff. Craig Willard's going to be here. Yeah. Great time. It's Have a good be weekend. Awesome. Have a good weekend. See ya. <laughs> Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.